Hey there, this is Justin, and you're listening to the third episode of the BelcherCast. This is our special birthday podcast, because it is the Belcher's 10th birthday just a few days ago. And I'm here with Jeremy, because, you know, it's just going to be the two of us, just a, uh, you know, just kind of a casual chat podcast, because we're just going to kind of run through uh, the Belcher's history, uh, you know, the, the 10th birthday, it's basically the past 10 years that the Belcher has been around, and some of our memories. We're going to answer a few questions, and yeah, hi, Jeremy. What's up? And actually, he didn't say we actually had this podcast uh, recorded from Saturday with all the other, with the regular folk. The regular cast, as you might say. But uh, due to technical difficulties, that did not end up so well. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we recorded about an hour and a half, and then apparently some of the audio is out of sync. Some people sound like they're way off, so kind of had to trash it so we're this is kind of a replacement we're just gonna just gonna be the two of us just talking about the so TBT so, and stuff so when we say special edition that's like we're serious like it's right now it's 1 a.m here for me uh, it's, uh 10 p.m i'm in a hotel bathroom in california yeah he's on his way to disney and i am i will be at disneyland tomorrow so this is the last you'll hear from me forever and yeah and no but this is so this is literally a day or two before it's going to be online so this is yeah, you know, this we we haven't done this before. So this We're is, deep in this. Yeah, so this is happening. But yeah, we, we we almost scrapped the whole podcast. In fact, the direct was originally planned for uh, on the birthday. The birthday back so, on yeah. uh, Thursday, Friday, Friday. Yes, but we I just made that thread in in place of it because that we just had too many problems going on. So basically, we suck. Yeah, but yeah. So by the time you are listening to this, you probably saw the things that we've added with the. The direct the uh, should we mention them? Well, yeah. If if we can't, if we don't actually have it up, then we're not going to have a direct or a podcast. We'll just okay. <laughs> so, shall we? Shall we introduce the features then? So yeah, the like button as people. It's kind of funny actually. There's people even in that thread are like, oh, I wish I had a like button so I could like this. Yeah, I saw. Um, I'm in a little group chat on um online or whatever few with a bunch of people for on TVT and someone in there was like was like, oh, I hope the features is a like button, that'd be so great. And I just read that I was like my lips are uh, my lips are sealed. Yeah, and the other thing is the gyroid smileys or emoticons are back and some of you remember back in the early days on on uh, zeta boards before we moved to v bolton we had the gyroids made by the former my fish. fish yep it's a little history for you there and history. now these ones are made by thunder so they look pretty cool yes thank you thunder for all your hard work that they, that's like the 15th iteration they've gone through yeah, this was a long, long process. I, th- uh, we probably, I think that we started on these at least a couple of months ago. Maybe it's, it's been a while. <laughs> well, my original plan actually since 2011 was basically just to re, kind of remaster the old ones, but Thunder wanted to completely redo them. So then that was a whole ordeal, I guess you could say. But now we have new ones and they're very nice. So yeah, make sure to use them. If you don't use them, he'll be very sad. So And you don't want to make him sad. So make sure you use them. And I actually just want to go back to the, to the like button first, just for a minute. Is this has been long requested? Um, actually, I'll just point out, you know, shout out to uh, Bidoof or Jake on the forums. He, I think he's been he's been asking for a like button since like 2011, maybe even before 2011. So it's finally here. Peace. Yeah, and so what else do we have in this direct? I don't know, but maybe update oh, collectible. Oh, right, right, right. Which at the time we're. Recording right now, it's not, not done. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, but there's some kind of birthday collectible. So whatever it is, go buy it. <laughs> we had a few versions of it come up that we have rejected. So <laughs> we're still, it's still in the works. Still in the works. 
But what we're here for today is the birthday. Yes, because the 10th birthday, which was uh, Friday the 19th, December. So, so. Well, if we want to get technical, it's not actually the birthday. It's the uh, grand opening birthday, right? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of the day, I guess, that we've recently decided on that we that's when we celebrate the birthday so yes because actually technically tbt was founded a few weeks back i believe it's founders day on the calendar now yeah we've um, renamed but it, it took to a that. few weeks to get everything going and so this is like we consider this like the grand opening date so that's that's what we're calling the birthday before someone comes in here and is like it's not really the birthday right and actually i mean that might be a good place to to transition into the beginnings of the history of the forum, if people want to hear that. Or, I think they'd love to hear that. Or do you want to talk about the... Do you want to talk about the fair first, or do you want to go... Uh, well, yeah, let's go on the fair. Let's talk about the fair real fast. Yeah, the fair is ongoing. I think we're about... This is. I think we're into our third week now. Third or second week. You know, we're, I, think we're, I think we're past halfway, at least. So it's, uh, it's going places. I believe our contest just wrapped up, so... As you listen to this podcast, uh, we are probably busy judging all your entries, and the voting will go up very, very soon, or you can vote on your entries. We got the art contest, signature contest, town design, home design, and poetry, so look forward to those very, very soon. Uh, yeah, the fair's been going pretty well, though. Yeah, and um, I mean, I have like tons of boxes I've been stocking up, because i got to send these pillows and different things out so yeah it's gonna got, be pretty cool yeah prizes why we've got well he's gonna be jeremy's gonna be sending out a bunch of prize packs which are plenty available make sure you get one of those the leaf pillow prize pack plus uh acnl prima guide also gonna be giving out a new leaf game uh some eShop codes um a carrying pouch for the uh for animal crossing new leaf for the for your 3ds uh and a poster set and also some amiibo so lots of stuff yeah, so that should be pretty cool. Yeah. And yeah, if you have any leftover tickets, probably suggest Pick up the, a prize pack. Yeah, prize pack. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's not just stickers though. As some have, have assumed, there is a myth going on that it's simply stickers. But it's unknown. Oh, its contents are unknown though. It's a secret. Yeah, are you gonna are you gonna tell them at all? Even when you send them out, or are you just gonna like wait for the first person to get in and post about it? Because that'd be kind of funny. Um. Good question. I don't know. Maybe just wait till somebody posts about yeah, it. Yeah, wait, wait till someone spoils it. <laughs> I mean, I do want somebody to show everybody because you know that'd be you know it'd be kind of weird if we don't. Oh, let's see. There's a uh, let's see. Currently, there are going to be uh, let's see here forty four thirty three sold in the shop plus the ones that are coming along with the pillows and stuff. Wait, so no. I'm sure someone will post. No, oh, thirty three. No, that's the max stock. So six uh, alone ones have been sold. Yeah, that, well, what I mean is they're all going to be sold eventually, and then there'll be lots of them. Oh, yeah, if they are, yeah. They will be. So with the leaf, and I think the game includes one, with the pillow yes. leaf. Uh, yes, yeah. game and the pillow. But I think that's an, I think everyone knows about the fair. Let's tell them what they don't know. Let's tell them some deep, dark TV oh, secrets. Okay. <laughs> yes, so I guess we're just going to kind of... Well, in the post we made on the birthday the birthday thread i kind of said we'd go over the history because people have been asking a few questions like that um and actually does that do we have a question to lead into that or is that for a little later uh oh oh i lost questions <laughs> okay let me see hold on working on it okay i got him all right let's see Uh, well, I guess we'll just start with this one from Twitter from Kateri. Uh Some people have already you may you'll be putting it's been on some previous podcasts, but you know just to start at the very beginning. Uh, why did Jeremy start Create TVT and how did you all become a part of it as we are as we are now? So yeah, how, why did you create TVT? Tell us about the very very beginning, even if some people have heard this before. Yeah, so back in two thousand four, we were on um, the official Nintendo forums called Insider, which was ran by Nintendo Power, the magazine. Which is um, now dead. Rest in peace. Yeah, it's been shut. It was shut down in what two thousand seven or something. Uh, which is back then it was like probably one of the biggest, if not the biggest, maybe like not up. It's, it was up there, biggest gaming forums on there. Oh, it was, definitely. It's pretty huge. Um, and we hung out in the Crossing Guardian, which was the Animal Crossing board for uh, the forum. Yes. 
And so I had a thread there called Animal Crossing Ask Center where people ask questions. It was like the second biggest thread on the board. Is like I think I, I, I think I posted in there a few times way back in the. I mean, that's how I found you. Yeah. But we'll get into that later. I think it had like twelve thousand posts or something. I don't know. Something. Yeah, it, was, it was absurd. And our rival Codes Plus was the only one ahead of us. <laughs> they gave out codes for items. Actually, I'll just just inject here for a moment. Actually, yeah, that's how I found TBT. I believe that there was a there was like a, a weekly trivia thing in there. I think it was on the order. There was like a trivia question a day or a question of the day. Yeah, or something we, like that. We called that them um, every day. We called them ATs, like afternoon yes, topics. Every yes, afternoon. Topic. That's what it was. Every afternoon. Yeah, for- we would ask. It was basically like a way to keep the thread active. The thread <laughs> active, you know. So a way to keep yourself at the top of the board. Okay. It'd be like questions like, oh, I don't know, like, what is your strategy for turnips? You know, something like that. Maybe some of our uh, cyclers should uh, take these tactics into mind. Wait, <laughs> is there a thread at the top? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I didn't say that. I won't endorse this. Um, and so from that, transitioning to the bell tree is not exactly clear in my head, in my memories. But um, I remember asking in like the off topic board on the forum how to start a forum <laughs> and somebody suggested envision free which is the predecessor of zeta boards yeah this uh, was a site but it, I, it, they still i think they still exist now but it was basically you know basically just a site you could go to anyone could just make a free form on there obviously tpt's grown way past that now but you know back in the day yes, this was when it was a uh, infant not even uh, it was a 14, fetus right 14 13 oh, 14 oh, me? Yeah, I, yeah, I was fourteen myself. Yes. Okay, there you go, guys. Um, Jeremy just gave away his age. Yeah, and I was very excited about the going ons. Your like, your your, uh, your form uh, entrepreneurship. Well, I'm sure all of you know, like when you first join a when you first join forms for the first time, it's very exciting and a lot going mm-hmm. on. So that's yeah. that was kind yeah, of the feeling. Everyone who's every, yeah, everyone who's like probably you know who's been on it was on TV is probably gone for that kind of phase at some point when they joined. Yeah. So, and it's kind. Of, so, some one thing that some people might not know. Well, I should, I should probably go back a little bit actually, and say something that well, I don't think a lot of people know. Do I know where? It? Um, I probably. I'm sure I told you at some point. <laughs> but like, where the name back, the Bell Tree comes from? So I don't know. Do you know this? Uh. Well, I mean, I have a theory, but oh, okay, go on. So, and you might have seen this on like the way old site from 2004, but. I had, like, uh, in the original game, the Animal Crossing game on the uh, GameCube, I had, like, I basically created a character so I could use one of the houses as a store, like a shop, and yes. it was called the Bell Tree. Ah, uh, yeah, the Dry Bridge Shop, right? Yeah, and I even made, like, a catalog of items and what I was selling it for oh, wow. and all sorts of things like that. I didn't know that, actually. It was basically, I mean, I knew you could do that, but I didn't know that's where the name came from. It was basically, like, a house with just like displays and stuff that i sold mm-hmm. so and you know it wasn't outline obviously so it wasn't well really yeah you want, to, you want to explain what you're actually talking about in gamecube version for those who may not because i suspect a, a lot a lot of people probably have no idea what you're going on about right now well it's not really like that's basically all there is though there's not I know. really well, no, I'm just like, <laughs> it's like explaining like what this feature even is because they may not even get what wait you're what saying. feature the gyro no i didn't no, even I use i didn't really use that that much oh okay this you is like kind of gyro. this is almost like kind of like a it wasn't really like a real store it was kind it's of like a like, role play like kind of like kind of like kind of Kind of like what people might do with their towns now, like set up different rooms for things. Right. Yeah, I get, so. Oh, I get what you mean. Okay, you weren't actually yeah. using. Well, I see. I was. I was talking about how because you could actually like make your driver actually sell items. Right. Like that. I thought that you meant, but I get what you mean now. Yeah. I did use that's that. Good. Though. I, mean, um, I, mean, but, I don't know. I guess you could almost say now. You know, you were you were ahead of the pack because it's true now. That's like a big thing now. People do like a lot of they'll like design their rooms. Like um, I remember just gonna randomly put this in. It's in my head. Um, someone on the forum, Minty's, uh, I went to their town a while back, and I remember they had, they had like, um, one of the rooms was set up like the theater, or whatever, right. and one of the rooms was set up like a room, and stuff like that, and that's like, it's kind of like, a, that's kind of like a thing people do now, they like being in their rooms to like fake things like that, and I don't know, setting up your little shop in there is similar to that, actually. Right. So my only customer, I guess, was my sister, who was in my game at the time, but other than that, it was just me playing the game. Um, yeah, I mean, that's the thing, right? You couldn't go online. Right. That either you know, you do the good old uh, shove your memory, shove another memory card in your system, and uh, go to that. <laughs> right. So, and now in the colors, I and I made like a whole like logo for this the shop in in uh, the pattern maker, and that's where the blue and gold come from. If you've seen that with the bell tree, the blue and gold. Uh, uh, the, the sticker. 
Oh yeah, well, in the sticker, that's kind of is is it, is it, is, it, is, it, is it with the sticker the the sticker the classic retro sticker well, is that like the pattern or no? No, well, this, no, the sticker is based on the first Bellatree banner, which that is based on the shop, basically. Right. So yeah, it's like blue and gold, and it says like the Bellatree on it or TBT or something like that. Those are basically like the forum colors. Um, just because that's what I did in 2014. It's true, though. It's true that we do kind of have the gold. We still use the gold kind of theme, yellow gold theme still kind of. Yeah, the blue maybe not as much, but no, the, it's nice kind of. Uh, the kinda. album has you know, some blue leaves in it, so. Oh, yeah, funny. that wasn't really intentional, but yes. <laughs> we'll pretend it is. Okay, so yeah, so that's 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 where it came from. And I, was, I guess I was kind of thinking of, you know, obviously that's not really doing much in an offline game, so I kind of wanted to carry that over online into the community online. So, and I don't know if I ever had, like, and th- this is where I guess the Belltree Fair comes comes up and how this got started. Yeah. I don't know when I thought of that, like, if it was... Something I think it might have been something that I did offline, like kind of like a big sale of items and different things like that. I'm I'm guessing I'm not really sure, but so I wanted to do that um, online too. And somebody on Insider was like, "Oh, well, what is that exactly? Like, what is the Bell Tree Fair?" I was like, oh, "I don't know." I don't so know what that, is it? <laughs> Tell me, Jeremy. So I was like, so I was basically, yeah, we give out like different items and things like that. So. Which, you know, back in the day, for those who didn't have the game, you, you could actually give out items through code system. So you Yeah, can... yeah, there's this very weird system. Yeah, so it wasn't so online, but you could give items. Oh, you will, okay. Oh, no, you could explain. Yeah, yeah, that was what I will, to my best of knowledge, I'll probably get it slightly wrong, but yeah, there was this, like, this, it, it was uh, it was one of the dialogue options in, at Tom Nook store, I believe. I believe if you spoke to Tom Nook, um, basically you would, like, select an item somehow or whatever, and it would basically generate a code of some kind. And the idea is you basically give that code to someone else, and they would put that code in their game, and then they would like then give them that item. It was work something I can't remember exactly. Yeah, it generates the code based on their name, their town name, and the item. So like, oh, some, I didn't know it did that some much. algorithm does it. So it's pretty yeah. cool. It's pretty cool yeah, from so an they, offline game. Yeah, yeah, no. Like, I mean, you can see this was back on the GameCube. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. They like made a, they basically made a workaround that you could effectively kind of trade items with like your friends right without actually going to each other's towns because it was hard to do that then. That's kind of neat. Right. So. And, and this is only if I'm remembering it properly, because I don't know, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, so I so the forum kind of was like a place, well, and the little website that we had at the time was kind of like a place where we would give out like probably balloons and things like that f- uh, for the game. For these codes. Right, the codes for well, the Well, actually, balloons. that's what the Animal Crossing Ask Center did a lot of, too, in, on the men's side, right? You guys actually gave, you guys generated these codes for people, I think, right? Didn't you do something like that? Um, well, that was just I know in general. GBT, that, well, I know there was like there was like a board on TBT or something at some point where you like took people's like item requests or something. I don't know. I oh, don't even well, remember that. That was kind of because of trying to stay, you know, active and right trying to be competitive with our competitor Codes Plus. Basically, <laughs> I remember because the guy was like, "Oh, I thought you guys because we used to not allow people asking for codes, and one day we allowed it." So. The guy was like, "Oh, I thought you guys didn't allow it," and he was like, kind of like upset that yeah. that we were like trying to like encroaching on his territory in the board. <laughs> yes, the the drama, the territory wars of uh, Insider back in two thousand four. Yeah. So yeah, and th- that guy was a sage, which we reused that name to mean retired staff. But back on Insider, sage was like a higher up, like not a mod, but like kind of like yeah, one of the respected of the community. It's kind of like, it's kind of like I don't know. I feel. Like- I feel, like, I feel like the best version, maybe like a little mini Nintendo in a way, because like they would like give them like games earlier or whatever sometimes. Give them like so they give them stuff. But they were like the you know the mature, the well respected people. Yeah. Like and two of our admins were actually sages too. But that's in, we'll true. maybe get to that. I don't know. But anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can fit that in. It's true. <laughs> yeah. That's actually yeah. That's actually really good information as to like where like the retired group name comes from because I I actually I doubt almost anyone probably knows that. So that's yeah. actually. Well, I mean, there. we used to we copied the sage idea. Like we would, we had a bunch of sages based on it, which is basically not mods, but they were like well respected people. Yeah, I, like, actually, well, I can say I was one of those sages way back then as yeah. well. <laughs> yeah, no, that's true. So yeah, originally actually, yeah, TBT copied that idea. Like we had that group on TBT, and then uh, eventually ended up getting dissolved because it just it, it a group like that doesn't really actually work that well. 
on a, on a large form, really, which is why we don't well, we don't have her anymore right now. But yeah, and then it's, we, it's got uh, turned into ego so. feeding. Yeah. yeah, it's way too. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, like so it's like it's it's basically it's sorry, just giving like. The popular members of the forum a special rank, which is not really a good idea, and <laughs> so we don't do that anymore. Now it's just a retired group. But yeah, and we yeah we reuse the name, so that's no relation really. We just reuse the name. But anyway, not to get too off track. Um, I, yeah, I mean it's kind of hard for me to remember why, so how it actually went from there to the forum. But um, so at some yeah at some point I made the forum, and so with the Animal Crossing accent asks the center thread. Um, I, it was ba- eventually it was like kind of mandatory. Like we had, basically we had like staff that they would an- you'd have to take a quiz like a test to be to be staff to be certified. You should you should see if you can like take out that quiz somewhere. Or oh no, I, yeah, no, I'm pretty sure I have. That, actually. Yeah, I remember we'll seeing it like a year a bonus, ago, maybe somewhere. <laughs> yeah, no, I remember uh, seeing it when I was moving and some other like relics of of the Peltry from Ooh. ten years ago. So yeah, I have to maybe pull this up, but um. So yeah, the staff, it was kind of like a mandatory thing that you'd have to go to the Beltry, and then we had like a private board there where we would talk about running the thread and stuff like that. So, which was mostly a way to get people on the forum, I think, uh, which mm-hmm. it worked pretty well. So, I mean, but this is when, this was a little after, I, I might be getting a little ahead of myself because this is maybe in early 2005 that I, I started doing that. Um, That's probably fine. But ten years ago from now, which is like December, November, was when like me and some of the leaders of the thread were kind of moving over here and getting it ready. So, um, like Bullerius and some others. So Smart Tech Dragon was a little later, but but yeah. So yeah, then it was yeah. Basically, slowly people came from the thread and then the board in general. The great migration from Insider. Yeah, and it's kind of like a steady flow. For a long time and then this was right around wild world uh info is coming out the new game yeah yeah it kind of there's this new cycle for it kind of started then and once you're joined it by the summer 2005 yeah mine's summer 2005 i should just stay here you know that's the crazy thing right since since tbt started in late 2004 three animal crossing games have come out then like yeah i mean more more animal crossing games have released since tbt started than they exist before tbt um, we've got Wild Wild World did not exist, City Folk did not, and New Leaf did not exist. We've had all three of those games come out since then. But yeah, no, I joined in um, June 2005. I want to say something right there. It's kind of funny because like back in the day when we started, I always thought we were kind of late to the game because I remember well when we started there was three big Animal Crossing forums. Uh, uh yeah. Do you want me to name them? I guess, oh, I, oh, well, Animal Crossing Community was a big one. Right. Uh, Animal Cross Animal. Xing, I guess. Animal Crossing Ahead, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Animal Crossing he- AXA or AXA or Animal Crossing Head, and then also their domain. It was well, like Animal Xing, so Animal well, Crossing. The, and the third one is uh, Animal Crossing Online, which closed down a long time ago. I don't, I don't even remember that one. Yeah, well, that's the one that Animal Crossing Ahead uh, came out of. Oh, oh, I think actually, I do kind of I vaguely know. But about those that. three forums were all like created before it even came out in America. The game, yeah, they so, yeah. had they had lots of guides. Like those guys, those guys were like, you know, they were like the they were like the obsessed people who, you know, they like imported the game from Japan because you know it was out in Japan years before America. And I they think like, uh, yeah. Nintendo gave some of them early copies too, actually. Yeah, there I, I know there there was like a there was like a weird um some folks may remember from New Leaf they did like a mayor program early release for something. They, yeah, I kind of did a thing like that way back. Yeah, I forget what it was called. It's called like Pioneer or something. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, if you if you Google Animal Crossing Pioneer or something, like, you may be able to find information about that. It was like, it's, I mean, it's like it's really funny to think about too, because like back then they would have like actually like mailed out these this people, and it's just like kind of silly to think about now. But yeah, yeah, and I mean back then we weren't really competing with them or anything. I mean we were strictly and ens- like a derivative of insiders, so we, we that wasn't yeah. even in our minds, but. Um, like, and in fact, in the early days we had, it was kind of, it's kind of weird. Like we had a rule, you had to be a member of Insider to join. Yeah. So but anyway, so yeah. And then you joined in the summer, so we should probably jump ahead through that. And then the wild world, when, uh, wild worlds came out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's, that's the part I can kind of talk about. Yeah. No. So yeah, summer, summer 2005. I mean, I kind of don't remember exactly, but I basically, I basically, yeah, I found my way to TBT through the insider uh, thread that he's Jeremy's spoken about a few times now. Um, I like, like I said earlier, I, the afternoon topics. I think I remember coming in there answering some of those, and I don't know. I just at some point, like, I saw the link to the to TBT on there or whatever, and I uh, just came along and um, 
I don't know, somehow ended up on this form. And, uh, yeah, it was like, you know, it was an exciting time because it was like, a, this was like, this is about six months before Wild World came out. Wild World came out in December 05, which is like, you know, if you kind of think, right, those who were on TBT in the months before New Leaf came out, you know, it's kind of the same kind of, it was like a similar atmosphere then. Of course, not nearly as big as it is now, but like the similar, you know, the excitement of a new game coming out, so, you know, when the new trailers come out, you know, I mean, it was very different back then, but it's just, so it was exciting then. Um, and then when the game actually came out in December, that's where I, re- that's where I guess I really came in. I mean, that's kind of how, um, I mean, that's kind of how I got to, uh, know Jer- get to know Jeremy and kind of, I don't know, that's how Jeremy and I kind of became friends, I guess, <laughs> is because when Wildwood came out, you know, everyone on the, all everyone on TBT was playing it and, uh, I played it with, I went to his town a bunch as long as a bunch of other people on TBT then. And yeah. Yeah. I remember we built like, uh, castles with holes or something. Yes. That, oh yeah. Well, I mean, this is going to sound so dumb to anyone listening, but like, yeah, I was actually, kids, yeah, I was, I, okay. yeah, no, I remember though. This is like, I think I kind of, I don't know. I feel like I kind of started in a way. I don't know. I feel in my memory, I did. Who knows? Pretty sure you did. I don't know if I actually did or not, but yeah, I think I started. Yeah. It was like this, it's basically, we would like build, we would basically like build paths around our town, uh, around our, around a town using, using the shovel. Like you're literally just like, dig a bunch of holes so you basically make it so there's like giant walls around the entire town made of holes and it basically makes a pathway between all your different buildings or whatever and where you can't dig on the concrete to like holes around all the concrete like a town hall and stuff it's like i know it sounds so stupid but it was it was kind of fun then and the, the and what made it the, the most annoying or silly is that you know i don't know if it's like this a new leaf or not but at least back in wild world if you disconnected you know if the, if the once the gates were shut once you stopped playing online that all the holes would just disappear so like you know every time you order someone's house do i do it all over again or someone's town yeah that was fun yeah that's kind of weird i guess you're kind of bored at the game at that point but yeah yeah that's the thing right that's the thing right wild world didn't really like wild world was the very i should you know actually that's kind of relevant to this, to this discussion here wild world was the very first game you could play online um so you know this was like so that's where you know this is where sites like tbt really became you know, actually important. Because yeah, this was like a pretty big deal in the Nintendo community because, you know, I mean, Mario Kart was one, but at the same time, it came out at the same time. But before it's that, essentially, there was no, like, this is the first Nintendo online game, so it's a really big deal. Yeah, and more importantly, actually, one of the, again, one of the, I'd say one of the reasons for uh, TBT's, I guess, success, at least back yeah, then, growth. Was, uh, Insider banned sharing friend codes because you know you have you know uh so basically if you wanted to you know if you were say you were someone who was a someone who was on insider and you wanted to you know tr- find people other people online to like play animal cross wild world with you had no choice but to find another site like say the bell tree and trade friend codes there because it was banned on the nintendo site and we banned it over there yeah, so that that was good, uh, good for our growth, yeah. I guess. Yeah. So I mean, so because it was the first game, you know, it was kind of very bare bones. Like if you played online, like the limits of what you could do that was actually exciting was like, um, you can fish together, but that was no fun because like the, I remember this is a weird technical detail, but I remember the fish weren't actually synced. Like you would see you fish in a different spot than the person on the other screen, so you couldn't even really fish together. Um, you could kind of catch bugs together. There was no there was no island you could go to to play island games, so that was there was none of that. You couldn't go to Main Street or go to the city or anything. It was like you know after like after you were in a town for like ten minutes, it was like okay, what do we do now? Oh, let's dig holes around. Yeah, but to be honest with you, that was like we were having the time of our lives and never playing online I know, games. I know, before. I know. That's that's the thing, right? You know, that's too true. Like I'm not gonna lie, that's the thing. I make it sound so boring, and it's like and it is boring, yeah. but yet. We actually had so much fun. Like, like you and I would, we, we probably played for. There, I'm sure there were times we probably were like we were playing for like five hours straight on in Wild Road Town. Well, I remember doing absolutely nothing but finding it so fun. Like my experience with online games back then was like, well, besides Age of Empires two, it would be like I remember I bought Battlefield 1942 and it didn't work on my computer, so I returned it, and that was like that was. What it. about Battlefront? Oh no, I didn't really that bear, that didn't really work on my computer. Oh. But I, a little bit, but not really. So yeah, it was, that was good fun, I guess. But um, so that was like in the Wild World era. Yeah, that was like yeah, number twelve five, and then the next game didn't come up for quite a while. Um, but wow, what what the hell happened in between there? Because I feel like that's where like that's where it starts to get fuzzy. Yeah, I don't even remember those um, days. We could, kind of, we could kind of talk about. I mean, we did have uh, one of the major things I can think of that happened like in between those like that kind of time period. The few. Years years between wild world and the next game uh is i mean we actually we kind of like went on in our endeavor to like made a we actually had a website at some point 
trying to put guides on and stuff. It didn't really fall for it. It didn't oh, kind of right. fell through. But that, I think that's one of the things we kind of focused on in those times. Yeah. And before that, we forgot to mention, like, the second fair, which was actually the first legitimate fair. Was, right, yeah. We should admit, yeah, that was that. That was basically when Wild World came out. I remember the big prize was to win a win a free copy of Wild World. Remember that, right? And you guys like what seventh place? Yeah, I got seventh place. Yeah, but I mean, that's the thing, right? The fair back then was, I mean, it was the same concept as what we have right now, but it worked completely differently. Like there weren't tickets or whatever. You basically got points. Um, so I guess similar tickets, and then it, we just we just like it was just like a like whoever just had the most points. And, it, and it, like, and then there was like pl- place of listings that would not work, of course. Now, I guess we have, you know, the form. The community was small back then, so it's like, you know, say you have twenty, thirty people participating in the fair, maybe fifty, but probably not even that. Then, you know, you can easily do like, you know, first to tenth place or something. Now, it would be like we'd be like place, we'd be doing like first to like five hundredth place or more. So it's not <laughs> worked differently back then. But yeah, I got seventh place or something like that. Yeah. So and that was probably. I think that was the end of two thousand five. So. Yeah, end of 05, yeah, the winner. I remember, do you remember Cat touched this? I think it was. Yeah, so they won, he the, they won with, the fair. Yeah, so this guy came from kind of one of our um, friendly like forums that we were kind of friends with. Um, and forums are still around, but not really that active anymore. Um, and I was a mod at for a little while. So he came from there, but he pretty much just participated in the fair, won like the game, and then left the forum. <laughs> Yeah, no, you know, he won like a free, he won like a free domain from Yahoo or something, and then like a free copy of the game, a few other trinkets, and then he was just like, "Bye, guys." Yeah, and we <laughs> back then we gave out Animal Crossing bells too. Yes, yes, we did Animal Crossing bells, and we had to keep we bells might... back then. Yeah, 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 not, yeah. Although they weren't too used, they weren't particularly useful back then, but they existed. Like the whole idea of like just having a form currency and a whatever and a shop that like that's from way back then. Although we didn't have a proper shop back then, but like you know the right. idea of it originates all the way back then. And there was no nothing like today. Yeah. No, there was no collectible. Like, no add-ons. The the only the only use for the sh- like the bells the bells were like for trading with other people like we have in the marketplace, but not not the way it's like now. Like you know it was it was for it was for trading like signatures and art and that was an avatars. It wasn't for like anything else really right and it was relatively active i think at thirty thousand yeah. threads when we and that was one of the boards that actually did not get transferred from uh to v bolton but yeah yes. but uh, anyway um so yeah that was that um uh let's go over let's see do we want to go for history like what would we what would we even go over next i was gonna say something but i completely forgot so. oops should we jump into right before City Folk comes out? Or yeah, I guess so. Um, I'm just trying to think of anything really. No. Oh, we should. Oh, we could talk about the uh, the demise of Insider. Oh, when it closed. Um, oh, I know what I was going to say. Well, yeah. So around this time, you know, 2006ish time, we were working on a website, which is basically um, like a bunch of guides and different things. And, and we had like, a, we had like a gaming site kind of in it too. Blurry is ran. Yeah. Blurry is our number two admin. He, he was like a, he's one of the most active, uh, members we've ever had on the Belchery. Uh, yeah, no, he was like, yeah, he was, you know, he has, a, he definitely had like, you know, you don't really hear about him much, but he definitely had a, a large, a large part of, uh, TVD in the early years. Yeah, he like kind of like he built the structure that all you knew people. Uh, well, he helped build, I should say. Yeah, a lot of the things that uh, that we take for granted, I guess, uh, the community. Yeah, no, it's so, totally true. Yeah, so yeah, he, he was a big part in the early days. But anyway, um, so yeah, he had like a gaming. Um, Gamers well, He was yeah, he was more interested in like the virtual machine game. Like, I mean, the virtual console. I mean, yeah. Yeah, he ran this. Yeah, he did like he was big into that. Yeah. And he was actually pretty credible, credible in the Nintendo community for his blogging on that. Yeah, and he had like yeah. Nintendo press access or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like every week, he uh, every week he'd like go through all the new virtual console games. Yeah, it was like the download center or something. Yeah, no, I, I remember that. He was he was he was a he was a big guy. Yeah, but yeah. So I mean, the guy the the sites did not work really. Didn't really work out. We couldn't really get it together. Um, so. Um, and then when Bullerius left a little later, uh, I, when was that? Like two thousand seven or eight or something? Nine? I don't know. <laughs> but, but yeah, so when he left, the, that was when the site basically shut down because it was kind of pointless without the gaming blog and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, but we so tried. when Insider <laughs> shut down, though, uh, like he, I want to say late oh seven. I want to say yeah, yeah. It's, it's September oh seven. Somewhere there is my guess. 
And yeah, for those who weren't around there, weren't a member of it, it was like a complete surprise. It was like, imagine if one day you log onto the Belcher and it says we're shut down and there's like no, no, no way to contact anybody. No, I'd say, you know, that's like, yeah, no, I mean, it's, I mean, you know, from that perspective, it's like a really good thing that you actually created TBT because, you know, because otherwise the Ask Center, right? All, all, you know, the whole community of people in the Ask Center and on the Cross Guardian in general, you know, all the friends you made on there, like Blurious and Smart Tech and stuff. And I, I was still a bit on there then. Yeah, you, just, know, you, guys, mean, you guys, you guys, you I mean, guys never, you guys would have had no way to like, I know, contact each other. And just think of like all the people who didn't do stuff like that, like they, they're, they're, they lost yeah. friendships. It was horrible. Yeah, I mean, so. there, there was a few other was made, like Insider 2 and other stuff. But it's not the, you know, it's like... Well, that's a whole other story, but yeah. Yeah, that's a whole other story. We won't get into that, but it's just like, it's just interesting. You know, it's like, okay, like... This, it's yeah, like, so it basically, all you know, the short story sure, is... You know, um, a bunch of people try to make it like unofficial forms and it basically like, shattered into a bunch of ones. Like I was an admin at two different ones be- just c- because of my experience at the Beltry, but it didn't really work out. But anyway, it, like it shattered into multiple communities and they like, were, there was like tons of fighting and it was, it was horrible. But yeah, yeah, so like tons of people or it was like one of the biggest forms. Yeah, no, it's like down. everyone was like lost. Yeah. I mean, as like you used the perfect example earlier, like just a minute ago, you know, it, it it's like the same. Like, okay, so you know, I'm sure many of you listening to this, you know, if you have, you've probably made lots of kind of friends on on TBT, and like, okay, you know, I mean, things are different now, right? Because you know, you like people like share their Tumblers or their Twitters or their Facebooks. It's it's like a different environment now. You didn't you you know you didn't really do that before, but like right. you know, say there's people on TBT where you didn't you haven't like shared contact info if you know if we just like tomorrow we just put up something saying tbt shut down and you can't pm anyone or anything and like that's it yeah i mean it was very sad i mean we were on the bell tree so it wasn't that big of a deal but it was still sad like seeing you know like your old home be bulldozed or something it was very yeah. sad <laughs> yeah so. and we had a lot of people you know a lot of people did kind of come over to tv yeah we did have some refugees yeah refugees um, <laughs> like so some of them were animal crossing ones as you obviously would think but um some of them were blurs's friends from the virtual console board mm-hmm. and i mean they, that didn't really that wasn't really a big impact at all i don't think but it was kind of just I, I remember i remember it being made out to be a big impact in my it does in my mind though but i know it really wasn't like I kind of remember, I mean, kind of the, kind of what you would expect if a bunch of new people all joined all of a sudden from somewhere. I remember, like, myself and a lot of other people who had been on TBT for a while. I remember I was, like, acting like it was the end of the world. Like, all these all these new noobs are coming. They're going to ruin TBT and all this. Like, we're acting like it was the end of the world. It was, like, doomsday or whatever. But, like, in actual reality, it's probably, like, 20 people who joined. It's, like, no one. <laughs> but I just kind of remember. It's, like, yeah. <laughs> like, if, like, if, if, like, another big AC site, like, I don't know, Animal Crossing community, say, just, like, shot down somewhere. And, like, from there came on to TBT. Now, I imagine the kind of reaction. Yeah. Yeah, um... But oh, no, I forgot what I was going to say again. <laughs> this is what happens when we do it at like 2 a.m. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, that was bad. I mean, actually, the and the reason why that it actually closed was because Nintendo Power was in the process of being sold off uh, to so, Future, which yeah. is now also sold, which is also now shut it down. So it's now it's gone completely. Yeah, and Nintendo America <laughs> was basically re- going through kind of a restructuring. Yeah. yeah, so that's why they sold. And I remember the main admin was like, all he was like really, really upset too, and kind of sad that it happened. But he, you know, he obviously had no choice in that. Yeah, and away Andy. I yeah, the guy. Yeah, for, and uh, the Andy kind of ran it. Good old Andy. Yeah. That's kind of sad. We still like remember that. Like <laughs> I could like recall NOA Andy. <laughs> yeah, and just remember, guy who the, you remember like, Sean? No, I don't remember. His Sean. avatar was a pickle. Oh, okay. I remember the pickle. So, <laughs> I, don't, so I just remember. I remember NOA Andy in particular. Yeah. So like we like people like we actually had like kind of I wouldn't say relationships, but like we knew like Nintendo employees that were like ran the forum. Like kind of like you guys know the mods here. Like you know we actually knew like the Nintendo employees who ran the forum. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like it, it felt like, even though it was like a massive forum ran by you know a company's giants, it kind of had like a personal feel to it. I guess is what you'd say. Yeah. Anyway, which so, I, which is part of why I guess we like them. Yeah, I mean, a lot of, like, that by far, no doubt, Insider's the biggest inspiration to the Beltry and how we mm-hmm. operate, and, yeah, so. I mean, yeah, I mean, not, it's not as much now, but, like, if you think, at least in the early years, we pretty, like, the structure of the form, the way it operated was pretty much almost copied from Insider, to be completely honest. <laughs> like, if, I mean, even, like, well, yeah, getting there's even a, there, okay, there was a requirement at the, at, at the very beginning of the Beltry that you had, like, you pretty much, I don't know if it was a requirement or everyone just did it, I can't remember. 
first one, but you basically everyone's names were in all capital letters, <laughs> and this is because on the way N Sanders from uh, Lithium was like formatted, like every every name was always capital yeah, letters. This and didn't then, like, last for like more than a couple months, but basically we wanted everyone to have the same exact name. You had to be a member. I remember zero thirteen was one of our mods for a while. But he was a he was like a member back then. He he changed his name. He had Belirius change his name to zero fourteen because he turned 14, 14 years old. And I got like mad and changed his name back to zero thirteen. He's like, no, you have to keep your name. <laughs> um, just I mean, you probably you've probably forgotten about this yourself. So I just want to pop it in here in relation to the Bounty Fair and Insider. Do you remember Camp Hyrule? Um. Yeah. Yeah, I was just going to say that, like, in a way that actually has some vague similarities, like the fairs, maybe, like, the way the fair is kind of... Well... In a way. I just want to say, like, it was, like, this, uh, like, this, like, online virtual camp that they... And actually, Nintendo ran in connection to Insider, like... Definitely a, a lot of our summer events for a are while. kind of uh, influenced by that a little bit, but... Yeah, that, that's what I wanted. I mean, it's, I mean, it's, like, I wouldn't say... I don't know, I want to say complete inspiration or anything, cause, but it's, like, it's just saying, it's, like... Something, you know, you guys can, anyone who's listening to this, if you want to just Google Camp Hyrule, I think there's an article on Wikipedia about it or something. It's like this yeah, virtual kind of event that Nintendo ran in the summer. Like, yeah, and like if you've the heard of, uh, events, you know, it'll... if you heard of Smash Camp, which is what some uh, people have run and in, in, with the Bell Trees participated in, like, it's kind of like a knockoff of that, that mm-hmm. they continue since Enslider shut down. So. Yeah, basically Smash Camp was a knockoff of Hamper Rule, and then I guess the fair is like a, a fair has similar, has a lot of similarities to Smash Camp as well. In the same, they're like all... I mean, it's not, kind of, like, it's kind of, each other yeah. in some ways. Like I said, it's not, yeah. I just thought I'd bring it up because it, it was like, that was really, that had to be insider. Yeah. But I mean, short story is basically, yeah, we got a lot of inspiration from our old home insider, but we should probably move on to yeah, City Folk should. days. Yeah, I City guess. Folk era. So you probably were a little less active. I'm just uh, I was around to, I think I like popped in a bit before it came out and I was a re- active for about a few months after it came out and then I kind of disappeared. So like, I can, I'm in here for some of it. I feel like your memory of it is probably just as fuzzy as mine. Well, actually, no, yeah. well, you can well, have the YouTube part, I remember, you can talk yeah, about that. The big story from this time was it was kind of when we went mainstream. Um, it's for timeline purposes. Uh, I do remember, okay, City Folk was, I can, just from my memory, it was announced, I think, uh, A3 in 2008. So basically, summer 08 is basically when this would have started. And the game came out that fall. Yeah, so we started, well, I started a YouTube channel which we still use now um, for the City Folk videos. That and this ba- podcast. Yeah, it's basically any video that I found. I'm like, literally any video that was posted online about the game, uh, I would put in, on the channel. Just copy, so. copy paste it over. Yeah, and it got, so I got, I don't know, 5,000 subscribers, which is pretty big back in the day. Yeah, I mean, that kind of sounds kind of funny now to boast about, but I mean, I, I, I get what you mean at the time. It would. Yeah, it was pretty big, trust me. <laughs> um, yeah, so, I mean, so... And it was about, I don't know, probably, I'm assuming it was right before City Folk came out. I posted like a little advertisement video, which I'm sure a lot of people listening that this is how they found the Belltree. So it's basically just advertising to our subscribers the Belltree. And it was like, okay, you have a secret forum that you, it's, you know, it's really kind of just a way to get people interested. Like you get all of you mm-hmm. re- seeing this have a secret forum. This is the password where you can hang out and talk about the, password was the like YouTube channel. or something, I remember. <laughs> yeah. So it was like a really cheesy corny video but and i remember i was sitting in my this is like freshman year of college for me i was sitting in my one of my like political science or something classes and i refreshed the forum on my phone or something like that and the user list was like it was like so many lines i was like what like it's that's normal <laughs> now but you know back then we had like one yeah, line back, back then, more <laughs> one than or like, two okay, like yeah two lines was like if you it hit the, if we hit the third line, it was like a, it was a, it was a big big day. Like, but average was like one or two lines. Right now, right. on the belt here, right now as we record this, there's eight lines, and this is at two a.m. as you said. So, yeah. so we maybe hit like five lines or something, and I was like, oh, what? it was like huge. So it's yeah. it a big surprise. But yeah, so that's this is like when we went mainstream, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, that's when compared became compared cool. to other, and like we we were at this time still like the biggest Nintendo form on SATA boards, but. This is like when we were big compared to all the other Animal Crossing communities on the internet. Yeah, that's when it started. Yeah, exactly. Like before then, before then, like we weren't really even known as one of the communities. Almost like if you went on one of these, um, like, we were, but it was like well, we I mean, weren't the big. But, we weren't considered big or anything. Obviously, I mean, like, I mean, like if you're like one of these, okay. Like what I mean is like now, if I if you were to go on like Animal Crossing community or whatever now, you like see people mention TBT or like, or oh, people right, on right, TBT right. like mention Animal Crossing and be like, hey, I've been on there, or people like mention us on Tumblr or like, right, talk right. about each on Tumblr. It's like that would never <laughs> that like no. 
Really it was more like, oh yeah, I've seen that site before like, and stuff I've like seen that. that site, but you know, it looked like it looked really tiny, so I didn't join or. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't really said that, but because they're all kind of small, but yeah. <laughs> no. uh, besides ACC, obviously, but anyway. Um. So yeah, that was that city folk, and then yeah, city folk came out and it's pretty big, I guess. Um. And yeah, I pretty much forgot everything that happens up till <laughs> for the next couple years. Um, yeah, I don't know. That was, I mean, guess that was our, that was our big explosive time. Yeah, the the years of city folk. I guess I'd say oh eight, late oh eight, oh nine, maybe, and then maybe twenty ten. Those were like the active years, and then it kind of, kind of died out a little bit. I, I, I won't say dead. I won't say life support or anything like that. It, you know, we were they were still around, but uh, it was more like it was, back to. It was a little back, more active than before, but back, it was it's back to similar how it was in like the oh five oh six. Yeah, days. a little yeah, more was, more active, but not that much. Oh yeah. Yeah, and then I guess. As you know, I, uh, New Leaf was finally announced at uh, E3 2010 well, uh, with the Nintendo 3DS oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. for first. I was just going to say, yeah, no, that, you know, if you think about that, so it's like, okay, so they announced the game a full three years before it came I know, out in I was, America. I was thinking, like, whoa, you're going to way ahead of here, but I was like, oh, yeah, 2010. But no, I'm really. I mean, that's like, you're right, after City Folk, right? After, if you know, we don't have as much to talk about in the in between time. Like, that's like, yeah, so it was like announced in mid 2010. Uh, with some screenshots, so obviously that's like the starting point, I guess, of where activity would start to pick up. Because you know, that's like, right. I mean, that's the thing, right? The cycle TVT used to go through is, you know, a new game, Animal Crossing game, would start to come out. You know, it would get exciting again. People would it would get active. Then it would be out after a year or two. People would people would kind of leave, and you know, we we would go back to kind of the in between state, and then it would start again. But with New Leaf, it has, you know, right now. I'm sorry, I don't want to jump ahead too much, but just to say, you know, right now we're just as active, if not more active, than we were this time last year. So it's it's right. kind of strange um, for us right. because we're used to we're used to the form kind of dying down at the, around this kind of point in time, waiting a year or two for the Wii U version or whatever to come out next, and then it gets exciting. And it hasn't happened this time, unless the but Wii U then, ones it, announced. You know, I feel like it will, might still die down a bit, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. But you know, you know what I'm saying. Like, like I guess what, I guess what I'm what I'm trying to put in context here is for people listening is that previously, like the a new Animal Crossing game being out, getting announced or or new screenshots or that was that's like that's like that's like the beginning of activity starting up again. Right. It was, yeah, it was different. It was like a cycle. Obviously. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So yeah, it was getting pick, picked up in 2010, I guess. Um. And then that was when we moved to V Bolt, and that's a prob- pretty big. Uh, yeah, thing. you can talk about that. that's a big. I mean, that's kind of around the time I came back. I should say, like, for about about two or three years in here, like, basically the city folk kind of time until until we moved to uh, Be Bold and I I was gone. We went yeah. on, you know, I uh, I, well, I departed, but then I came back around the time with the Be Bold. And, yeah, so, and, yeah. And, like a lot of the newer people might not actually know, like, you weren't actually a mod or anything. Back, no, I back in the no, early days, like we were no, just back in the early days, he was yeah. just really like one of the more active members, in, like a, yeah. You know, yeah, I would, I would. Yeah, exactly. I've been around for almost as long as forum, but like, I didn't really, I didn't really take a good, a big part in like managing the forum until like right. until like a couple years back. So yeah, V Bolt, and um, I remember in the early days, or I don't know how early that was, but like Fish, the mod, was trying to convince me to move the forum, and I was, I was really against it because I don't want to lose all of our posts and stuff like that. But I've eventually found like some converter from for the posts. Or no, that's like actually, I, I kind of wanted to do it anyway, even without getting our posts and members and everything moved over. Which, looking back, would probably would have been really bad. But I've, I ended up finding a converter, so that was good. We, that we could convert our, which was a free form software where the the host puts an ad on it, Zeta Boards, convert that to VBolton, which is hosted by us, you know, paid for by us, and everything. We can control the ads if we have to, and, uh, and you know. To, do you know have the freedom to do whatever? So that was 2011. We made the move to the forum yeah, as you see it now. 2011. Uh, I actually have a full story here. I know it's not that exciting, but I, I kind of remember. As I said, I kind of disappeared for a while, and uh, I remember. Uh, I think I think I, I I got I think he sent Jeremy sent out a mass email around the time around the time they moved, but I didn't really pay attention to much. And I think I actually I still had you on um G chat or Gmail chat or whatever. Um, and I just remember you. I don't know you. Probably, you probably don't even remember this because you usually forget these things. But I remember you just like randomly messaged me out of nowhere, like early January or whatever. When like we moved over, you're like, "Hey, we're moving over soon. Are you gonna come?" Or I don't know something or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. And I, that, that's how I got sucked back into the like, yeah. Is you is guys you guys being over? And it's been and history ever since. Uh, yeah. 
Yes. Yeah. So yeah, that was 2011, and blah blah blah. Waiting for new leaves. I mean, that's crazy. Kind of, that's kind of more, so I guess we should say. I mean, that's kind of like, that's we're move over there. That kind of marks the beginning. That kind of marks the beginning of like the shop and bells and collectibles. Yeah, that's like or, the beginning or, or, of and the, the current era. We'll say that's yeah, that's the beginning of the modern era of the bell tree. 2011. Yeah, everything before that, it's like a different kind of yeah, it's a different kind of time. Yeah, just a different feel, different look, at different everything. Yes, I mean that's when that's when our collectibles kind of started. Well, more 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 in twenty twelve, but technically they started to exist. And we had the very first collectible cake in twenty eleven. Yeah, but New Leaf was coming out. Should we get, should we just go into that now? I don't know. Yeah, I guess we should get that right. The New Leaf came out. Well, it came out in Japan in late twenty twelve. Yeah, uh, I mean, we should we, probably say, like, we were, I, well, I don't know about Justin, but, like, I was thinking back to City Folk and how successful the YouTube videos were, and so I was kind of like, ah, oh, should we do it, should we, I don't know, but we eventually did, if, like, probably a lot of you remember the fundraiser to get capture cards for 3DS, um, uh, but, it, I don't know, it just was kind of like, I felt like, you know, YouTube was completely different. Uh, years later, so it, that didn't really work as it didn't a pan out as we expected. Yeah, so, but yeah, it was, it was like you know, getting two hundred views on a video that's like nothing these days. So, um, probably it, even a thousand, like any, like anything less than like fifty thousand. I mean, or, yeah, or I mean, ten thousand feels like pit, in, nothing now. But then it was a big deal. I mean, in City of Folk, I had r- videos I recorded that had like fifty thousand views, and like that was a lot, especially yeah. back then. But but yeah. now it's like it was like nothing. Was, yeah. I think the problem is back when we were doing it, we were like the only ones recording. Yeah. And now we have like tons like, of people. I should, we, be- I, we should say that it's kind of interesting, you know, in a way or oh nine or whatever, you would have been recording city folk videos, like because I mean, okay, you did. You, you I should, we should say like in, in early in this podcast, you said you just like copy pasted videos oh, yeah, but over. Then actually, but you know, when the game actually came out, you did buy a capture card to actually record via you and Sockhead. Who yeah, also Sockhead ran a channel with you. And, did Nigel uh, do anything? I don't know. He I might have recorded know. videos. No, Thunder was in some of your videos, though. Yeah, Thunder, yeah. the mod. Uh, but anyway, I should say, yeah, so you did actually make some content. Kind of and the thing is, right then, then that was kind of before the Let's Play, or whatever we want to call it. I don't know. You know, the, that that was not really a thing then. So that's what you, that's kind of what he means, and that, like, no one else really did that kind of thing, especially yeah. not for Animal Crossing. But, like, so, even in for any game, that was not Let's Plays, doing just, like, you just like playing Animal Crossing and recording was not really a thing then. Yeah, so we tried to do that again, I guess, because we thought it was so successful before, but it just didn't really work out. And there was, you know, looking back at it, there was just so many better people that could do it better than us uh, these days. Yeah, you know, no, like cool. I with, mean, that's the thing, right? With no. Josh, like, for example, and other people like that, so. Yeah, we should, yeah, just I call yeah, a few people, yeah, yeah like Josh, uh, we folder Josh, like he, he, you know, he does those kind of things. Um, uh, there was a, around the time of when it was, the game was on Japan, there was a big channel, Linen Co., some of you may have known, I, they actually kind of started on our, um, I just remember, I forget her name, I think it was Lindsay, or was it Lynn or something like that, she, she actually, like, was on TBT, actually, for a little while, and, like, she, like, was like, hey, and people on TBT were actually asking her to make videos, or whatever, so that's how she kind of, started, that channel kind of started off, and, yeah, anyway, they, you know, they can do it better than us, they, yeah, we, we actually kind of suck at making videos, to be all <laughs> yeah. honesty. So. I mean, we still use the channel, but more casually. We don't yeah, really okay. care. Yeah. But yeah. Obviously, yeah. for this podcast, we'll post on it. But mm-hmm. um, yeah. So, yeah, and we kind of, but so that didn't really work out, but we kind of quickly realized that that was okay. Like, we had traffic, like, we didn't even have to really market it ourselves. Like, there was traffic coming in from all over the internet. And it was, you know. Yeah, I mean, I'll just kind of throw in here, too. Um, so, at some point in there, between New Leaf kind of come, are being announced and we're on TBT moving over to the Golden and the releases, I, I started a, um, I started a site, uh, acnewleaf.org, or ac3ds blog, it was then. Oh, right. I forgot about it. It was kind of a, uh, yeah. Yeah, it was kind of just a general, like, I mean, that's probably part, that's part of where some of the traffic came from. Um, yeah, so it was basically, yeah, just basically a blog kind of, or just like, but, but I guess in a way, in a way, actually, it was kind of like the more modern version of like the, the, what the AC City folks for City folk, right? You know, Jeremy would just go in there, he would post whatever video, new video there were i kind of like go on there and i would post what new videos were came coming out whatever news were coming out screen new um so that, that that's kind of where a lot of people came from when the game came out along with tumblr and reddit and other sources yeah so yeah i forgot about the website yeah, so we did obviously do something like justin the blog that he put together so and you know we'll probably just to say you know we we will probably end up continuing that at some point in the uh, in the next year or two uh, with the next game eventually too but that's for another time <laughs> Yeah, so that was New Leaf, and um, I don't know, it's pretty much... Oh, we had the fair last year, that was pretty well. Yeah, uh, the fair. Well. Uh, actually, well, let's see, let's see. 
Yeah, I have a few. I have another two questions here we can actually answer. Okay. It may relate to some of this. Okay. Uh, so I actually discussed this on our podcast. It was lost and we had to trash. But so we'll kind of actually talk about it again. Actually, uh, Lock Fancy asked, "Do you think TBT has greatly affected a major percentage of Animal Crossing players? Such as which Animal Crossing villages have been popular throughout the duration on this website?" So I would say, like, I don't want to have to be careful with my words here because I don't want to like sound too cocky. Like, you know, always have like a big effect. But I don't really say that. But I just want to point to an example that I can actually say we have actually is the the whole villager trading. Uh, you know, the 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 villager trading. Trading plaza on TBT. The whole concept of like trading villagers and the dreamies and all that. A lot, I think like a lot of that kind of started on um, on on the Bell Tree. Uh, back about in July, about a month after the game came out, we had a massive thread on the retail or or it's just Animal Crossing board on TBT. It was the yeah, it was Animal Crossing like villager giveaway thread and trading thread or whatever, and it was like it must have been like a thousand pages or something absurd, and that was only in a few weeks and. I think it's still up on the forum if you want to find it somewhere, but that's what we had. And basically, we saw that, and we were like, hey, this is this is a big thing. So we ended up making a the Builder Trading Plaza board, and it kind of just went crazy from there. So I would say we kind of, that's definitely something that, like, kind of was born on TBT. Like, we took a combination of Tumblr and TBT, the whole Builder thing kind of started. I, uh, she also asked me, I don't actually know if Lockheads are here, she, my apologies. They also said, which Animal Crossing villagers have been popular for, like, such as that? I think that's probably has, like, you know, what, what villagers are popular on TBT's trading board? I'm, I'm sure that, that probably has some effect on, like, what villagers are popular in general, I'm sure. Yeah, so that, yeah, I was saying in the first attempt at this podcast that we did this Saturday, that, yeah, it's pretty interesting. Like, I never thought of that question that we would actually impact the community itself as a whole. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then another question Trundle asked. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how much I want to say this because kind of goes with some of what we've already spoken. But he just basically just asks, "What kind of feelings do you get looking back at the form you created over ten years ago?" And basically, I guess basically, what he's asking, are you proud of where it is now, Jeremy? I guess it's essentially the question. Like, are you happy with? T- are you happy TBT still around? Are you yes, proud of, of course. Where's that now? <laughs> yes. That's good. I mean, if, I, I guess that you're still here. We're, we're, you know, we're both here doing this podcast still ten years later. That should say enough. Yeah, I mean, it's it's hard to think about something that's been around for ten years. I I don't really know how to put that into words, but yeah, just kind of looking back and. Uh, just, Turn into a success, success, I'd say. So that's yeah, pretty, pretty yeah. proud. Yeah, I, mean, I, I mean, think about. It. I mean, I don't, there's, I don't think there's really a lot of forums you can actually say that have been around for ten years and like the guy who started it and people who are people who are around at the very beginning are actually still around or still helping out. Right. So yeah, right. I just want to say, you know, uh, hats off to Jeremy here. You know, I think it's pretty cool that you know you have been you start you started the site ten years ago and you were still here doing a podcast with me helping out. You know, making sure everything is good and dandy and running it. It's That's a little crazy, cool. but <laughs> it's crazy. No, it's crazy thing, right? It's like you started yeah. this when you were fourteen, okay, and now you're like twenty four. You're graduated from college. You have a job. Yeah, and that's weird. You're you're still kind of around. Like, I mean, I don't. You know, it depends. You know, some. I'm sure some people will listen to this and think that that's like dumb or that's sad or that's. I know, but yeah. But so I, for, I, I actually, for me, it's it's but, not. I mean, there's both. I mean, Sorry. Well, yeah, I was just going to say, for me, it's like not even about the game anymore, It's which I obviously still love and play, but it's, it's about the community and the friends I've made and yeah. and the doing, you know, make, you know, putting stuff together like the fair and different yeah. events and stuff like that. I mean, I can I can agree with that, okay? Like, I will say, you know, I, I did not I did not start this forum, but I've been around here nine of these ten years, and I can say that, I can say that I, that's the sentiment I have as well. It's not about the game for me either, you know? I'm not, I'm not on this forum still helping out because I, because just because I the love Animal Crossing, I'm here for all the friends that I've made here. For you know, I'm you know, just instead of you know, I, I I'm you know, I consider myself very good friends with all the staff that are around here, and you know, helping out the events, helping out the fair, like that's the same for me. Like that's the reason, not for not necessarily from a crossing. So I get that. Yeah, yeah. So, and I mean, of course, special thanks to all of those who've helped out. Um, all the sages, basically. Yeah. Should we I mean, still people, read I mean, those? Should we account. still read the list off? Or yeah, yeah. So uh, we've got actually got a list here of every every person who's currently a sage on the bell tree. Uh, so these are basically anyone who was for, uh, at some point over the past ten years they were a staff member, they were either a moderator or an admin or something on TBT. So we're going to kind of read off the names here. Uh, for some of them, maybe we'll add in some. We've already okay. His first name is Blurious. 
Like as a, I mean, he's first on the list because you know he, like I said, he, we've already we've already discussed him. He helped a lot. Should we should we give him like a little plug for his music? He plays <laughs> guitar. <laughs> yeah, he plays guitar. He is a musician now. Should we like give us maybe give his? Would he be mad if we gave his name out and like? I don't know, maybe you want to check just, out his music. Just PM one of us if you want to listen to his music. Okay, he's yeah, really right, good. Yeah. At, he's classically trained in uh, flamenco guitar and you know classic yeah. style, so it's really he's really good. Yeah. Yeah. How about that? Actually, if you actually just go find his profile on TBT, you can probably find a link oh, to that and stuff. Actually, yeah, he's yeah, like I said, that's, you know, like that's the thing, right? You know, just I feel we owe I feel like we owe him that a, 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 some kind of shout out. <laughs> Yeah. for all everything he's done over the years uh how about you go over the next few names because you'll know more about them okay so flamuxer um he was used to be called tiyoshi um he was a mod in the early days uh for a little while uh quick little trivia he's one of the reasons where the ghost came from him and smart tech last tree yeah ghost. last tree ghost well smart tech was it one of the original admins too he helped out a lot um, and is pretty active. Uh, he along with Blurious, basically. Yeah, well, Blurious by bit, far more. Yeah. But oh, yeah, smart, by far, but, you know, Smart Tech. He, he yeah, it's basically around. me, Blurious, and Smart Tech, and then a little later, Bastoise99 were, like, the main admins in the beginning of the forum. Um, yeah, so Smart Tech Dragon, like, disappeared, and he basically left the internet, and we had, like, a... It was kind of like a joke. Like, T.O., she disappeared, too, and we said, the, like, this ghost, the last three ghosts, like, abducted them or something. Uh so, <laughs> Tiyoshi ended up coming back, but Smart Tech Dragon has, he literally left the internet. He, yeah, we don't know. We, we know. It's kind of sad, actually, because I, I don't consider him a pretty good friend, especially, it's the same for you, especially. You, I'm sure you, you know, like I said, you were, you, you, him, and Blurry were like the, the crew then. So, yeah, it's kind of weird that he just like, he, no, he like literally has disappeared. Like, it's been, it's probably been like seven years or something or six years since he left. Yeah. And, like, I mean, it was a different like, time back then. Have, we, like, yeah, but like, it's crazy to think we have no, like, I, I can look at this list actually. We'll go down here. I I mean like, over half of these names I could I still have contact with or I could easily contact I mean, yeah. most of these names. So it's like he's one of the ones I mean, that's, like impossible. It was a different time back then, like we don't we like you never like have like you could never like put a face or a voice or a name to like a user mm-hmm. really. So like we would never yeah. do like a podcast. Well, we did do a podcast. Never mind. <laughs> we did. We did do one. Right oh, there. we should but, mention no, that. I, but we should mention that the Blue is. We forgot to say he yeah. started the original. We did have an original TBT podcast hosted yeah, by Blue Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but anyway, um, yeah. So it's, they kind of disappeared. Uh, anyway, um, so yeah, Smart Tech was like one of the main admins back then too. Um, Along with yeah, Blastoise ninety nine because he's Blastoise on the list here. Blastoise ninety nine so was a little later. Yeah. Them, well, he was a mod but... and then later an ad an admin and kind of yeah, a little later. Um, yeah, he was an admin. Um, How about zero thirteen? Yeah, zero thirteen was made a mod. Uh, you know, a lot of these people. It's there's so many. There's so much history that you can't. Yeah, really well, what, 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 I want to go through them really quick. Yeah. Um, Sporge twenty seven. Sporge, oh, he's Sporge, still around. Yeah, I mean, Sporge is like the probably the longest serving mod that we've had uh he yeah. stepped down what last year maybe yeah it was, it, was, it was either last year or the year before at the very latest so yeah long time and he I still mean, comes on he comes, still comes on tbt yep yep uh i'm pretty sure he i'm pretty sure i saw him on just yesterday or the day before so yeah shout out to sporge yeah so he's he's been there from pretty much the beginning oh yeah january 1st, uh 4th is his join day uh and yeah, so he's still around. So, um, and then Minnow, a lot of people probably yeah, know him. Minnow, Minnow's, Minnow's probably. I say of every all the sages, he's the most active one probably. Of everyone who's everyone who's on in the sage group, he's probably the most active member. Like you, like 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 many people who listen to this, they can probably say they've actually seen Minnow post on, on the forums. Everyone else in this list, you probably have never seen post. <laughs> yeah, so he came, and all all of these Nebby names, Grog. by the way, I've read so far that I, they all came from Insider, and like yeah. half the over half the list has so. Um, yeah, so he was a mod, and he went from being basically a mod and banned, like, off and on. Yeah, he long, long story history we'll there. Into. I was like history there as well, but we also get into that. Um, um Linkerator, the next one. Okay, he was, he was, like, actually a mod way before most of those guys, uh, and that was only, that wasn't very long. He was, like, a very early mod, didn't really last long. I don't have very, mem- very many memories of him, so. Ouch. Um, <laughs> well, he uh, he kind of dis- he kind of disappeared too. But come and listen yeah. to this. <laughs> uh, okay, how about fish? Fish yeah, has some history. Fish, yeah, fish we actually was, mentioned him earlier. Yeah, fish was very active moderator, and he was like the graphics. Kind of gra- yeah, it was our graphics guy. 
he he made a few of our skin our uh, themes. themes. We just call yeah. them skins and banners <laughs> and stuff like that. Um, yeah, um, maybe I know we have a collection of some of those banners. Actually, some of the old banners. Yeah, we'll some of those you made, some you sometime, made. Yeah. We will. No, we. I, I'm going to try to. I'll try to dig those up and include these in the post of this podcast if they're in there. Hopefully, some of my style I kind of got inspired from him too. So yeah, mm-hmm. he was like definitely one of the. Uh, and he made the jar words as we mentioned. Oh yeah, the original jar words smileys. Yeah. Well, we should. Well, also I mean, maybe we'll post those along with new ones. Well, just. To, like show people yeah yeah um darth so gohan darth gohan one is one of the mo- more active mods that we've had like yeah he- i was actually yeah i remember him um he actually joined around the same kind of time as i did uh, his join date is july 30th so just about a month after my join day so i i actually knew him very very well me and him were, yeah, and him were really good friends back then yeah. yep yeah i think we all were um He's not really around, but he he popped in like a couple weeks ago and said hi to me. Yeah, it actually says here. Uh, I got him on. Yeah, he joined in. He he popped in in uh, November, so that's probably when he said hi to you. So that's cool. You know, that's the neat thing about this list is, I mean, over half of these people have like been on TVT this year. So you know, it's, um, I'll get actually I'll say this after we're done with the list. Uh, so what we have of Micah, uh, he also I think he was previously known as. Oh, see, the actually, next couple of people really change their username so many times. Mm-hmm. I have this written down somewhere, but it's like hard to remember. <laughs> like Grar, yeah, Micah, hard. Connor, they change their name. Yeah, well, I want to I want to give a special one uh, to Grar because yeah, Grar does listen to this, uh, or Vincent. If you actually do listen to this, yeah, I mean, me and him, we we were we were we were really good friends, along with a few other people on. TV. We had kind of like we had like a kind of a. Uh, Kind of like a, a group of we had like a little Skype group or whatever that we all are we're all were good friends and so I especially remember him and yeah he's on the list he was a mod for us sometime as well uh, along with Micah and we also have Tyler which is so odd crazy me he was an admin for some time but I don't think um, he did a ton yeah he's more admin. known <laughs> for being a mod like he was an active mod um, one of the main mods uh, kind of he became an admin when we moved to V Bolton but he wasn't really that active after that so. But yeah, he definitely had a big part of uh, you know the staff as a moderator. Um, our next one, he's more recent, so many people may know him. Andy B, he's on our list as well here. Yeah, he's, uh, he's been a member for a while, but yeah, he was recently made a mod. What, like, I don't know, two years ago or something? Yeah, he he was a, yeah he was only demoted, but oh, we're not demoted. <laughs> he was supposed to retire. He only retired about a year ago, so he should be in recent memory. Yes, well, actually, degree, at okay, least. yeah, he made, he was actually a mod in 2011, and he resigned in 2013, and then but that same year he joined back again until this year. Actually, he resigned again. Yeah, again. yeah, Andy, uh, Andy, and he's a pretty cool guy. He still yeah. pops in the IRC. I think I saw him in the IRC uh, like a week or two ago. So yeah, so. Made, he, so him kind of like Sporge has around. him kind of like Sporge. You know they've been like kind of long term members yeah. of the board. Ingrar too comes in a little bit, but maybe yeah. Not. I saw Grar post uh, just today actually as we record this. Actually, I saw him post in the birthday thread. So I said, I hope yep. I'm pretty sure he will listen. I think he he actually mentioned he wanted to come on a podcast or something. Yes, we didn't, we didn't that's didn't manage to make that work in Some, time. I think Micah said that may, too. But we may maybe. maybe Hey, maybe we'll work on some later, though. We couldn't make it work on the short, short notice now, but we'll try to make it work eventually. Right. Um. So next, Nigel. Nigel was like, he was kind of active in the City Folk days. We were kind of planning kind of planning another, the resurrection of the site, which didn't really take off. Uh, but yeah, he was one of the mods in the City Folk era. Uh, and he, yeah, so... And then him and um, Sockhead were kind of around the same area, same time. Um, Sockhead, it's kind of a funny story. I met him on YouTube because um, he basically... He was like the competition on YouTube? Well, no. He, no. He's... <laughs> oh, he wasn't? Well, oh, sorry. Know. Give me the real story. Then I might be wrong. <laughs> okay, so he stole one of my videos. Like, he downloaded oh. it. Um, oh, that bastard. Like, <laughs> that bastard. And then yeah, and then put it on his channel, and I was like, I sent him like an angry PM on YouTube, and but he was like, he was like actually like really nice about it. He's like, oh sorry, and like took it down. And I was like, oh wow, I was like surprised. Oh, wow. Yeah, like like usually like people are like, no, on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. common decency so, on YouTube. And yeah, we kind of like teamed up and then made that channel, and that was like, uh, and, like he helped me with the videos on that channel. That was kind and of he, yeah. He was a mod for a few years, and he yeah, he definitely helped out with the YouTube channel lots. Right. So um, and then Miranda. Um, yes, yeah, so this is 2008, by the way, that we're currently talking about, that they joined at least the forum. Yeah. Uh, 
she she was a mod in 2009, so not that long after. But and she was an admin for some time as well. Yeah, so she like this is the city folk days, which we basically did not have many staff, so like uh, it was like hard to find like somebody you know mature and responsible and active. So Miranda was uh, good for that time. Um, yeah, she was she's an admin for a She was like a GameStop manager too, or at least she used to be. Right, I think no, she's probably still. Actually, we should give her actually. Actually, I want to give her. We should give her some kind of a shout out here. Actually, she actually contributed a lot of prizes to the fair last year, and some of them this right. year too. Right? Yeah, that's true. If um, you've wondered where those um the small the large pin is that part of their prize pack plus, I believe that came from her and the game and the and, oh and the game as well. And last year we also gave out some small pins, and I think an eShop code from her as well. So oh yeah, or something right, like right. that. Yeah, because like I said, she got she got some she got that stuff you know because like she is a GameStop manager or whatever. So you know like those pins are those pins are like actual like promotional pins that like Nintendo gave out to like the stores or whatever to promote the game. So that's where those come from. Right. So they are pretty special from that perspective. Like you know you can't just buy them somewhere. And so, kind of like right, bef- like right around when we moved to V Bolt, and like I, well, b- years before that, I was like, I was the only admin after uh, Bullerius stepped down. So it was, and then like kind of right before we moved to V Bolt, and it was like pretty much me, Miranda, and Odd Crazy Me uh, as admins for a little bit. Uh, um, and then let's see who's next. Connor. Connor, yeah. So he's probably. Our first European mod, I want to say. First non American, besides. Yeah, I don't know. Um, wait, I thought Connor was from the States. No, is he? <laughs> no, I don't know. I think you're well, thinking Nigel. Story maybe straight. Straight. No, Connor was made a mod Connor before Connor. Nigel. See, okay, we're doing this in order. Wait, was he? I don't know. We're doing this in order of join date, not when they were made mods. Yeah, so it's kind they of don't have the proper. But, yeah. Uh, well, okay, clearly Jeremy's uh, memory of Connor is pretty fuzzy then. Okay, the whole whenever like Connor and whoever was a mod during like the city folk days, like I'm sorry, but I don't really remember what happened at the forum, on the forum during that era. So. Okay, well, either way, regardless of how, regardless of how much Jeremy remembers, uh, you know, he's still on the list here. He still contributed, so yeah, thank you to all these ages. Yeah, of course. And we got one more actually, who's the most recent one, so everyone should know. Uh, Jennifer is on our last on our list here. She's probably the most recent. Uh, Modern to retire. She she wasn't a mod for too long, but I would say in the time she was around, she definitely helped out a lot. She was she you know she got, she helped clean up the Animal Crossing boards a bunch. Uh, you know, handled lots of disputes with you know people just in general. Kind of was our Animal Crossing mod, so she does help out a, a lot there. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And also known to be a big collectible uh, fanatic as well. She actually she owns the only golden egg. So there's that. <laughs> You're never going to get it. She had it, and I doubt she will ever give it up. Yeah. Um, so let's we we we've talked a long time, but hopefully you guys are still listening or interested. I should say. Yeah. <laughs> if you're not listening, that's okay. Well, we, well, we should still talk about our we're current wrap- mods, though. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I wanted to, I just wanted to say actually before we go into the, the current mods as well. Um, something I was going to say earlier is you know you'll notice as I mentioned. A good half of these, most of these, a good half of these people, maybe more of them, like they actually come on to TBT. Like at least, like most of these people, over half have been on TBT in 2014, and I mean, some of you, some of even just the last few months. So it's like this thing, TBT. Like you get this. I'm going to sound really stupid here, <laughs> but you got it, like kind of like a weird connection with it. These people, they will actually come back. You know, even though even if they joined the site when they were like a teenager or they were like 13, it'll like come back on here when they're in their 20s and they have like a job or they're in college or they've graduated and they come back onto TBT and check out how everything is like it's like weird attachment that everyone has I see that yeah. like how these people are still actually around and so many of them we still know so it's kind of crazy maybe we'll be doing that uh, 20 years from now too <laughs> it's possible <laughs> but um, okay so, so yeah we... um, yeah you can start off with the current mods we want to well, mention we, here as well basically we... we're basically just you know thanking everyone here who has contributed yeah, I mean, obviously, a lot of members have contributed too, but of course, um, you know, we can't list everybody's, but we'll go through the mods at least. So, should we continue by join date? I guess. Uh, I don't have that on. Well, we can just right kind of wing it. I'm just gonna go, okay. Well, by join date, I think. Well, uh, Justin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Our well, very yeah. Own. Yes, well, yes. well, me obviously, but okay, all right. Well, Justin. I can't speak for myself. You'll have to speak for. Well, me. we can't really speak for either of ourselves, can we? But, uh, oh, okay, okay. okay. You already spoke for me. So yeah, no, Justin has been. Obviously, a really uh, big help in the recent years that he's been a mod and admin. So, especially admin with running the various things and um, you know 
it hasn't been since back when Galerius was a mod that I felt like I actually had like a somebody a right hand man as yeah like a right hand man like you know doing you know as much or maybe sometimes more if you know if not more than the work that I put into his Adamus. So yeah, it's definitely a lot of appreciation towards Justin. Oh, thank you, Jer. <laughs> I appreciate you too. Thanks. Isn't this podcast sweet, everybody? This so is, sweet. I actually, I, I'm liking, this, I'm liking yeah. this podcast. We're so sweet. Okay. Um, if you want to go by Join Day, um, probably Thunder and Gallows. Yeah. Yeah, Thunder and Gallows both joined in 08. So See, no, this is soon. actually, now to think about it, harder to talk about current mods, because they're definitely listening, and we have to be all sentimental, and, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's harder. Uh, and of course, a lot of most of these people um, that we're talking about, they were actually in the original podcast. So yeah, sorry we cut all yeah. your stuff yeah, out. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, like that. Um, yeah, we had we had four others, I think. Yeah, yeah, a good a good half of the people we mentioned. They were in the they were in the podcast we recorded last week, and uh, now they're they're cut out of this now because the recording messed up. We decided it would be best just to redo it. So sorry to them. Yeah, we, so, we may actually just I'll just add we may actually post maybe sell parts of it later that were good if we can make salvage some of it later, but I'm not guaranteed. Yeah, that. we'll sell it for bells. <laughs> but um okay, so Thunder, yeah, he he's um a big help with the graphics and a lot of the collectibles he's designed. Yes. Uh, so I'd like to thank Thunder right now. Um so since I am I'm in California right now, I'm actually going to be at Disneyland tomorrow on holiday vacation. So I'm um, basically basically all of my fair duties and whatever have been relinquished mostly to him, him and Tina. So I'd like to thank especially Thunder and Tina because and because yeah. they're taking over most of my duties. So thank you to them. Yeah, they definitely stepped up. And yeah. So as much as we tease each other, me and Thunder, you know, especially in Smash Brothers, uh, obviously yes, a lot of appreciation about. towards Thunder I swear and all these stuff. You know, we have like a we have like a little chat room just for um, us and staff to like discuss important things and also sometimes bicker. And like I swear, like every other day I'm in that chat. I, like him, Jeremy, and Thunder are like, like fighting over like who's better at Smash. Like this is like a recurring daily thing. Yeah, <laughs> I mean we all know that I'm by far better than him, but uh, except on 3DS, I think Kaya, Kaya would disagree. Wait, what? No. Okay, except Kaya... on 3DS, but. No, Kaya thinks she's better than me, but that's obviously not true. I destroyed her. Okay, how about, how about Gallows? <laughs> okay, um, so yeah. Gallows. Um, Gallows, yeah, um, Gallows, I consider a, a very, very good friend. Um, you know, he's I, I, Gallows is just like all around, just kind of he's just a rat. He's just he's like the definition of like a chill guy. You know, he's just <laughs> you know what I mean. Like you get you get like, yeah. you get what yeah. Like he perfectly fits like like that 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 personality type. So. You know, he's the kind of guy, you know, that he'll, he's just kind of, you know, he's been around since 08, so he's been around a while, and he's kind of be chill, and if you need something, he'll be like, alright, what can I, what can I do, basically? <laughs> or if you need help, let me know, and he'll do it. <laughs> so, he's a, yeah, he's great. And he's yeah. helped out a lot. Like, uh, you know, he's, he's one of, like I said, he's Thunder, right? They're, like, on the, um, they're, like, on the, the, they're, like, on the, on the they're, like, on the, the like, the, befer- the beginning of, like, the list of, like, mods who've been around the longest. Reason. So he's the most, I guess, like, he's been around, the, he's right on the mod team, at least, the most uh, of the current mods. So thank you to him. Right. Yeah, he's definitely, like, you know, he's, he's a pretty friendly guy, I would say, and easygoing, as you said. Also, yeah, I'm looking like... at his avatar right now, and I mean, it's <laughs> just... cool. I mean, it's like, a, it's like a, right, it's like, it's like an alligator or something, with like a Santa hat, like, that, that, like, that alone says enough about him. You should mention something else that was announced in the original version of this podcast, but we'll get to that when we get to somebody else. You know what I'm saying, right? I don't, actually. Oh, well, never mind. We'll, we'll get to okay. it. <laughs> okay. Um, how about, I guess... Oh, we forgot about Jason. Jason, oh, Jason joined yeah. around the same time that Allison thought... Oh, sorry. Oh, Jason, I'm sorry. Well, Jason's <laughs> a more recent mob, but yeah, he's been here for a while. Yeah. Yeah, so Jason... Um, so he yeah he started in the IRC as an op and then we made him a mod and he's quickly we kind of well I kind of threw him into running the he fair threw him last into the fray. year yeah, so. yeah he, he yeah he organized the uh, he organized pretty much all the fair last year but then he had to then he had to go away kind of when it actually started so he organized all of it and then and then the rest of us ran it so yeah big thanks to him last year yeah, and, yeah. So, and, yeah, we've had some late game nights with I don't know Civ and stuff like that. So, yeah, he like, yeah, oh yeah, we know. Let's add, with us, like, at least. yeah, for, like a per, yeah, for like a personal like friendship perspective. Yeah, no, Jason's great. We all we 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 play Civ a lot, the three of us, and uh, it was kind of yeah, he's great. Yeah. 
Well, he also he also started the Mumble server, which isn't so popular anymore, fortunately. That's Very what sad. we're that's what we're recording on right now, by the way. Yeah, we are. We're actually we're using Mumble to record right now. But outside of the staff uses it recording it doesn't get used much anymore but he did start that so like i said it shows a lot about him you know yeah he's, one of he's, the, he's also a big proponent for the irc like the irc yeah one of the early uh people in irc like, used to be pretty dead except for a few people and him and so we should that would be a good transition if for jamie um who is one of the early uh irc operators um, yeah she's probably next who is, on the like, list in order yeah yeah so that's zr388 for yeah the zr38 also or jamie or sent or Voldemort. <laughs> she changes yeah. her name a lot sometimes. Yeah, so she's helped a lot with the IRC, and that kind of led into being a mod uh, when well, we're kind of not having many mods. She- yeah, so what, what Jeremy's trying to say here is if you want to be a TBT mod, um, get, get come up on the IRC first. Uh-huh. It'll lead you there. <laughs> Oh, no, but really, no, but in all seriousness, I'm kidding there. Please, please don't f- listen to my advice. Um, yeah, don't, yeah, don't listen just, to him, but that is probably true. It's probably true. Yeah. Uh, you know, so yeah, Jamie, uh, Jamie, Jamie, Jamie kind of fits in the same kind of, um, what kind of what I said about Gallows, you know, she's like, she will, she'll come and go, you know, she's not always 100% active. She has a very, she, you know, she's got a very, very busy life. But, you know, when you, when, you know, when you need, she's the kind of, she's the kind of person who will be like, you know, do you, you, do you need something? You know, how can I help? What can I do? So she, you know, she's, yeah. she, she comes and she comes and goes and, but when she is around, she definitely helps. Yeah. Um, so let's see, should we say Kaya? Kaya probably, yeah, Kaya. So Kaya, yeah, Kaya was, um, made a mod last year and. She that, ran some contests for us before then, actually. That's like, oh, that's, right. that's kind of how we got to know her in that she was very, uh, she was very, what is it? Um, I don't know. Very outgoing when it comes to like trying to get contests right. Like that's that's her thing. So you know, she ran some writing contests on the Bell Tree for long before she was even a mod. Yeah, and I and think she, I need to explain to you listeners like how well loved she is by all you members. So I mean, yeah, it's true. No, she's I would say she's definitely one of the most well loved mods. I mean, how can you not like her? I mean, I know, she's just so. she's just I don't know. She's just like she's generally kind, and I don't know. You just you, she's the kind of person you just want to be around. <laughs> yeah, she has a lot of good traits, except uh, for. Uh, mocking me and Smash Brothers, even despite That's me her beating her. <laughs> That's her best trait. Yeah, but definitely very grateful for all the work she's put in over the last uh, what's been year, year, two, yeah, year, year and a half or something. Yeah, no, yeah. no definitely, and I'd be mean, longer than that if you count the contest she did before then. So yeah, yeah. Um, and most recent or most or most recent two mods are baby mods. As, uh, oh, wait, 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 wait! Don't before you go. We should make. We should mention the announcement that they I don't made. know what the announcement. <laughs> Oh, Kaya yeah. and Gallows. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay, this they. I'm sure a lot of you know this already, but they made it like official in the in the last podcast, the the original version of this podcast. So we should probably just mention that Kaya and Gallows are like an item, you know. So. They're an item. Oh my god! It's, so yeah, isn't that so cute? So anyway. cute. Um, actually, they they gave actually us a picture on the podcast, um, like for us to to uh, gospel over while we while we're talking about it. <laughs> and I think she did actually. She they gave me permission to post it, so I may post it along with this. Uh, they're very cute together. Yes. Yes, they have my blessings. <laughs> yes, they, they bless them all. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, um, Tina and Gandalf. So yeah, baby mods. Yeah. Do you want to start? <laughs> um. Yeah. No. Tina and Gandalf. They're they're but they're they're the they're uh Tina and Gandalf. They're like they're probably the more most recent. I mean, the most recent to the staff, and they're most recent just on TBT. Um. They have been, they neither of them have been around a long time, but they've definitely proven their worth, and they definitely help out a lot. And again, like you know, just like everyone else, like I can I can honestly say that I absolutely I absolutely adore and love and love being friends with everyone who is the staff. They are all great, especially Gandalf and Tina. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I don't really know what else to say. <laughs> what could what could we say about them other than like they are just great? Like I do. I don't know. Hundred percent. Honestly, mean that. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, all of our mods and uh, are great people, so not just great mods, but, you know, great people, right? No, they are great people. Um, Tina and Gandalf, I, mean, I guess I can say they're, they're, they're both running fair contests, and probably as we speak, they are working on rounding up all your entries so that we can get the voting up as soon as possible. So that's their, their so, on there. So, yeah, that's it, and thanks. Yeah, no, no, yes. Yeah, well, yeah, I'll say first nope. thank you to all the staff who have helped out 
uh, in the past and present. And of course, thank you to all of our members who have again yeah. been here in the past ten years, or you know, whether whether you joined ten years ago, or whether you joined like last week. Yeah, I mean, I just want to say like, and I'm not just saying this. Like, I really do appreciate all of you, especially those have been, who've been around for so long. And I really do appreciate you uh, being a part of the community for so long and being friends with all of us. And uh, you know. So it's no, it's not just about mods. You know, we're friends oh, yeah, with a lot exactly. of the members. Yeah, and... yeah, no, no, I, I, I agree with that. I don't want, I don't want to give the impression. Oh yeah, <laughs> that, like that's what it's all about. But like, we, we're just talking about it because it's like it's one of the best ways to go for history. If we if we talk because these are the, the 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 former mods and the current mods. Those are the people that we we know the most, or a lot in a lot of ways. So it's easier for us to associate like timeline and like events in the form with that. Right. But it's like it's not just about that. It's yeah, so I mean, it's impossible to list like all. Yeah, the that's the thing. Like, I I really want to, I really want to like actually list out some like you know some like some members who have been around a long time and are active. But I feel like if we started doing that, then like you know there'd be someone we wouldn't <laughs> mention it on the like a downward spiral. Yeah. But you know, know you know who you are. You know, yeah, you, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's the thing, right? You do know who you are. Like you know anyone who's been around you know a while, and you know maybe you're someone who comes in the IRC or has been in the Mumble or that kind of those kind of communities where you know we get to know. I mean, that's the thing, right? You know, that's how. I mean, that's one of the that's one of the main ways that we like get to know members on the forum is through the IRC chat room and the Mumble and stuff like that. Saying so, you know, you know, you know who you yep. are. But. Yeah, and we've made some more recent friends, and you know we hope to see you guys stick around uh, long as we've all been here long, and you know ten years. That's a it's quite a long time. So yes, it's another for another ten years. Yes, <laughs> let's make it happen. So yeah, I guess is that it, or I think that's uh, about it. What I have no, I know I have one last thing. It's loading my page here. This is important, super uh, important. I guess this kind of violates the rule I just said that I didn't want to name people. But uh, I was I do actually want to give a early Christmas birthday shout out to both uh, Pally or Princess of the Horns and Lorena or Lorena. Well, and this, then, this is just uh, favoritism. <laughs> hey, hey, they are they're both are well, watching. Okay, Lorena's birthday is on Christmas Eve, uh, and then Pally's birthday is on Christmas Day. So, Mer, uh, so happy, happy, happy birthdays to both of you. <laughs> no, uh, no, they both, they both. Uh, I know, I, I do. I mean, I guess I do personally know both of them, but they did that. They, they. Yeah, they they tweeted mass for questions pointing out that it was both their birthday so birthday shout out to both of them <laughs> yeah so um i mean can you believe christmas is in less than a week now yeah i know i mean not um, to get off topic just pointing that out right now i know it's just, it's <laughs> me now. yeah and that's actually accurate because we'll be listening to this like in a day so that's actually accurate yeah. <laughs> this time but um it's yeah fast. so and it's been pretty crazy like uh with the fair and just so much stuff going on, it's been crazy. But getting yeah, after, little after, sleep. after the hol- after the holidays here, like now you know, you're now you're at Disney. And it's like oh wow, you must yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, I know that's the thing, right? It's like okay, have fun. I'm gonna. Yeah. I mean, Disney is like fabulous. Oh, I should actually want to quickly mention. I think it'll still be up and running by the time this one. Speaking of Disneyland, since I will be at Disneyland tomorrow and for the holidays, if you are interested in getting, if you if the idea of getting a Chris postcard from Disneyland sounds cool to you, uh, I have a thread up in the fairgrounds. I'm gonna pick two random uh, winners who, and I'll uh, I'll get a uh, I'll get a nice Christmas postcard at Disneyland and uh, send it off to wherever you live in the world, international, anywhere. Just kind of a, a fun little thing I thought I'd do while I'm here. If you're interested in that, check that out. And also the uh, Jake uh, or Bidoof, uh, well, I guess he's, he he falls under one of the you know the longtime members that we definitely appreciate. He he's running a the Beltry Choice Awards, which is like a little awards that he runs every single year for the past like four or five years. Uh, you can vote for nicest member, you know, member of the year, um, funniest member, stuff like for that. Make sure you check that out as well. Yep. And um, that's mostly it. Um, I'll throw in some Don't forget promotion. to get your uh, prize pack mm-hmm. and your other oh, yeah, prizes. <laughs> yeah, make sure you buy a prize pack, which really would be sad. Yep. And yeah, just my quick shameless promotion. Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash thebeltery. We're uh, form updates and we give up ticket redemption codes sometimes. Best way to keep up to date on whatever's going on. Uh, you can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash thebeltery forms. We don't post on there much. And finally, YouTube youtube.com slash accityfolk, where these podcast episodes are posted among activities. Uh, including Smash Brothers sometimes. <laughs> do it again yep. sometime. Yeah, that's about it. Thank you for listening, and thanks for being a part of Beltry for all these all these years. Yep. Uh, thanks, Jubs, for hosting. Um, and Thank they- you, Jeremy, for hosting <laughs> the Beltry. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And thanks to all the members and the mods and everybody, as we said. Um, 
And so I guess that's it. And happy birthday, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Holidays, happy holidays everything, Happy, ha- happy Hanukkah, <laughs> whatever you celebrate. Yeah. All right. We'll see you next time on the Build Your Podcast. Yep, Bye. See you guys. Hey, Jeremy, I hope we're giving out some free tickets for listening to the podcast. You better bet your bottom dollar we are. Well, it's true. Now, how can they get these tickets? Um, well, they just have to answer this trivia question. We talked about, in the podcast, the Animal Crossing Ask Center on Insider as the predecessor of the Bell Tree. So what does the acronym AT stand for? Well, I certainly don't know, but if you listen to the podcast, then you will know the answer. So, if that's right, if you know the answer, just enter it into the Ticket Redemption code box under the Currency tab for free tickets. And make sure to hurry. There's only enough for the first person. Only one person? Yes, you better get this show on the road. Yeah, you better get it right now. You better get this road on the show. Get this road on the show, get this show on the road, I don't know, just just get something, go, why are you even still listening to this? Go get your tickets, go get your tickets, they're probably already gone.